hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to solve day 17 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem okay so today we are going to solve problem number 988 smallest string starting from leaf okay so in this problem we have given the root of a binary tree where each node has a value in the range 0 to 25 okay so one thing is important here see this is our root and values are in from are from 0 to 25 okay so these are the numbers only okay so here uh, in the representation uh, we are showcasing them as uh, alphabets okay so in actual these are the numbers only 0 to 25 and we are representing the letters a to z okay these numbers and we have to return the lexographically smallest string that starts at the leaf of this tree and ends at the root okay so lex lexographically lexicographically smallest string okay so what is this lexographical okay so let's understand this so lexico lex lexicographical order also known as alphabetical order is the order in which words are arranged based on their alphabetic order of their component letters so in lexicographical order uh, words are compared character by character from left to right okay so this is one point from left to right words are compared and uh, the first differing character determines the order of the words okay first different differing character is going to determine the order of the words and if all the characters are same up to the length of the shorter word then the shorter word will come first so this means that if these two are the strings a b c and a b c c so see all the alphabets are matching till here so this will come first a b c will come first and then later on a b c c will come okay so this is clear from this particular example so see here a b c is smaller than a b c c okay so i hope that this example is clear so from leaf node we are going to start from leaf until root okay so I hope that you guys are clear with the lexicographical order, right? So now uh, this is done. And uh, for example, AB is lexicographically smaller. And so all these things we have already discussed. And what is a leaf? A leaf of a leaf of a node is a node that has no children. Okay. So if uh, any node has no left and right, so then it's going to become our leaf children. Okay. So now let's understand this with an example here. So first uh, I'm going to pick this example okay so here this is the example okay so what we are going to do here we are going to start from our root node and initially we are going to read this character as a okay then after that when we are going to reach at this particular uh, node then we are going to treat uh, read it as a b okay a b then after that when i reach at this node then i'm going to read it as a b d okay but since uh, this node has no left and right okay then i am going to reverse this string dba and then i'm going to compare uh, if uh, any string is smaller than uh, if this string is smaller than any other string okay then i am going to just uh, return this okay so this is what i'm going to check so after reversing it uh, since uh, as of now there is no string uh, available uh, which is smaller so i am going to start from this dba okay initially case okay so this is dba i am going to put in it in my answer okay then after that i am since there is no left and right so i am going to backtrack from here I reach at this node and from here again I'm going to check so this will become a b e okay but since this they, this node has no left and right so I'm going to reverse the characters e b a okay it is going to look like this e b a but th this d b a is smaller than e b a okay so I, I don't need to update this d b a in my result okay then from here I'm going to backtrack one time okay from here I'm going to backtrack then again from here I have to back backtrack okay so uh, i hope that you guys are clear okay so one time we are backtracking if uh, there is no left and right of a leaf okay one is this and after that we are going to backtrack after from this right okay again then from here we are going to check ac this will become ac then we are going to go to this then this will become acd and but since this there is no left and right okay of this so we are going to backtrack okay so first of all we are going to just change it dca and this dca is not smaller than uh, dba okay so this dba is answer so here we are backtracking okay we are backtracking we are backtracking if left and right of 
a leaf node leaf node is null okay this is one condition and after backtracking from here we are going to reach here ACE since this has no left and right so again we are going to just uh, reverse it ACA we are going to compare this DBA this is not smaller so we are going to backtrack okay this one time backtracking because left and right of uh, leaf node is uh, leaf node is null okay we are going to backtrack and then again we are going to backtrack okay so I hope that you guys are clear okay so we are backtracking every time uh, after every case okay so here uh, let's write the code for this one so code is going to be very simple but before that uh, in the similar questions if you go to this problem some root to leaf nodes let me open this problem link so see here uh, I'm going to apply the same logic as of this question okay so I have solved this question I think two three days back maybe okay so I'm going to use the same logic okay if root is null then one helper function and all this okay so if you haven't solved this question then please go ahead and solve this problem as well I am going to add the video link in the description of my youtube channel so you can go ahead and watch it if you need any uh, help okay so now uh, let's write the code okay so I hope that you guys are clear so from here we are going here from here we are going here then we are checking if our string is lexographically smaller or not then we are backtracking then we are checking right then we are again backtracking again backtracking then we are checking we are going to the, the right of this one then again here then again backtracking okay so I hope that you guys are clear with the explanation now let's write the code okay so we are going to use string builder okay private string builder smallest string new string builder okay so we are going to use the string builder and same way uh, we are going to check if our root is equal to null then in that case we have to just return an empty string okay and then we are going to call for the helper function so I'm just going to copy this control C okay pasting it here then after that I'm just going to add helper and I am going to pass two variables one is root and one is my string builder empty string right new string builder okay this is done and from here I am just going to return my smallest string okay this is what we need to run return right so this is done smallest string this is a string builder so let's convert it to string to to string okay this is done okay so I hope that you guys are clear with this then after this let's define this method so again private void let's create a void method private void and okay this one small okay one second smallest from leaf helper and inside that I am passing tree node tree node node and one uh, string builder so let's name this string builder as path okay string builder path now inside this we are going to check if our node is equal to null node is equal to null then just simply return okay so this is the same code that uh, we uh, have written in this problem some root to leaf nodes okay if node is equal to null then we are just going to return okay and here instead of taking the sum uh, as we are taking this particular question here we have just we are going to merge this okay a b okay we are going to just uh, merge the strings a b okay but here one more thing see these nodes are in numbers okay so we have to convert it into the alphabet okay so what i'm going to do here path path is our string builder dot append okay path dot append and we are just going to convert it into the care okay and here care so if a is alphabet then in this a plus 
I am just going to add no dot value so it is going to convert this into my character okay number into character so if my no dot value is 0 then this will be show a if no dot value is 1 then it will show b okay in the path okay so I hope that this is clear then after that I am going to check for the conditions so here if my node dot left is equal to is equal to null and and node dot right is equal to null then in that case okay no dot left is equal to null and no dot right is equal to null then I have to just reverse the path okay I have to reverse the path I have to reverse the path and then I have to store uh, this path in my current string string current string is equal to path this is string builder so convert it to string this is done okay I have converted this to string then again reverse the path path dot reverse okay so here what I did uh, from a to a b then a b d then I have reversed the path so this is actually okay this is a b d then after reversing the path it is going to look like this dba so I am going to store this dba in my current string then again I am reverting it a b d because I need to backtrack now so till here I need a b okay so after, because after a b I want to, to want my string to look like this a b e okay so I that is why I reverted and stored this reverse string in in current string okay so this is done then I am going to check if the smallest string is equal to zero okay that simply means that we haven't added anything okay smallest string dot length is equal to zero that simply means that we have just initialized we are just starting now okay we haven't added anything uh, in the result right now so if smallest string dot length is equal to zero okay this is the case or and current string dot current string dot compare to okay so here this compare to this compare to is checking all these things okay compare to in java is used to check the lexicographical order okay so this is important this is important okay so current string dot compare to then pass our smallest string so this computer is going to take care of everything okay so I hope that you guys are clear smallest string convert it to, to string okay and after that If this is less than zero, then in that case only we have to update my smallest string is equal to new string builder and in this pass my current string. Okay, this is done. then after that we have to go to the left and right okay so call this function okay let me copy this paste it here then paste it here okay so here I am just going to pass path here I am just going to pass path and here I need to go to the node.left node.left and then I need to go to the node dot right okay this is done and then we have to just backtrack okay so I can add backtrack statement directly here okay path dot delete care at path dot length I have to just delete the last character now path dot length minus one okay this is done 
So let's run the code and see if there are any spelling mistakes or any other issues. Then let's correct them. So here we have found one mistake. So no dot left is equal to is equal three is equal to sir there. Okay, and anything other than this? Let's see. Uh, path dot delete care at here. This should be in open list now. Huh? Path dot length minus one. Now it seems to be correct. Let's run it. Okay, so there is some issues. Let's see what's the issue here. Care of a. Okay, so it is reading. Let's see if my root is null. So this is correct. Here we are just passing the string builder and smallest string dot to string. If my node is equal to null, then we are just returning it. Then in the path we are just appending the character a. Okay, what is this? Character. Okay, a plus no dot value. Okay, now it will read it correctly. I think if no dot left is good null, no dot right is good null, then path dot is the reverse. Then we are current taking. Okay, so now see all the test cases has been passed. Okay, so we have just missed this open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Okay, okay, so I hope that you guys are clear. Okay, so now let me submit the code. So see our solution is accepted and runtime is also very good just one milliseconds. Okay, so here uh, Let me copy this code or one. Th let me do one thing This is my code, okay, so here I am pasting the code here Okay, and then I am going to pick uh, an example here Okay, so I have picked let's say I have picked example 2. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how this code is running Okay, so this is my example 2 Okay, so initially I'm checking if my root is equal to null then we are just going to return null So this case is not executed then I am calling for this uh, helper method and in the helper method I am passing my root and this is an empty string builder. Okay, right now there is no value Okay, so here if my node is not null then in the path dot append I am character a plus no dot value so a is equal to a plus node value so here see it is 25 now so 25 plus a so it is just going to give z okay so here uh, in the path dot append i have added z okay then uh, the left and right of this is not null so we don't need to execute this block okay then we go to the left of this so i have reached to the left of this one then this after going to the left then it, it is going to look like this b Okay, this is going to look like this Z Z and B okay, this is going to look like this Z and B then again left and right are not null then it is going to look like Z B B Okay, Z B B so here see when I add this B so here my left and right both are null So I am just going to reverse it and the, after reversing it is going to look like the bbz okay so i am going to store this bbz in my current string bbz then again i am reversing so it is going to take the original form zbb okay then i am going to check if my string builder is zero so in the starting it is zero only so we don't need to check this condition if anyone becomes true then i am just going to update this as my smallest string so this is going to my smallest string in the first case zbb then i go to the this is executed then i go to the right of this b so here I go to the right of this B. So this is already null. Okay, so we are just going to return one more time. Yeah, my, my node is null now in the right. So this is going to execute. Then I am going to delete the last character. So I am going to delete this. Okay, ZBB, ZB, and backtracking. Okay, so here I am just doing a backtracking. So it is going to look like ZB. After ZB, I am going to reach at this position. So this is going to look like this ZBD. Again, we have to just write left, right and again backtrack so i hope that you guys are clear okay so this is what's happening okay then we are comparing we are going to just reverse it dbz okay so previously it was bbz so this is smaller so we don't need to update it okay then we go to left and right already null okay so then after that again we are going to write of this then we backtrack then again back we are going to backtrack then we are going to go to this position then this position then here we will find the our smallest string okay so I hope that you guys are clear. Okay, so you can just include system dot out dot print and lines in between Okay, you can include one line here here 
and inside this for more understanding okay if you want to see how step by step it, this code is working okay so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye